Spidey is back with another movie from 1951 from this fantastic collection called, uh, what the hell is that called? 50 of the worst movies ever made in the history of cinema. There's the backside right there. <clears throat> Tonight's feature is Bride of the Gorilla from 1951, starring your favorite, my favorite, Raymond Burr. Your favorite, my favorite, Lon Chaney Jr. All right, Woody Straub, Paul Maxey, Barbara Payton. Oh, what a doozy of a movie. Well, where should we start? <laughs> What's this, my crib notes? No, that's something else. I gotta have crib notes here. Anyway, it's uh, Black and White, came out in 1951. It's from that magnificent collection, like I just said. And it's pretty much a story of revenge. Let me get my damn chair right, man. I feel like um, I'm just kinda not, I gotta turn my camera on here. What the fuck's going on, man? I got too much of my, uh, my new booby showing here. So it's pretty much set in the Amazon. It's pretty much a revenge movie. Kind of supernatural elements to it. Uh, you know, Raymond Burr is the foreman of Paul Maxey's plantation in the Amazon. He doesn't, they don't say what kind of a plantation it is. But the thing is, you only see workers running around. You don't get to see big fields or nothing like that. I don't even know what the hell he's growing. What kind of a plantation he has. Anyways, married to Barbara Payton. Raymond Bird loves her. He's the foreman of Paul Maxey's uh, plantation. Big burly guy. He's just a big... Oh, of course. We, he was Perry Mason. You all know that. You know. <laughs> Perry Mason. <laughs> uh, let's go backwards. I'm just turned up the volume a little bit. Let you kind of hear what's going on. We're going to start it from the beginning. You know, kind of like really rag on it as it goes along. I'm old enough not to be pushed around. Whoa! Anyway, so... <laughs> anyway, it's pretty much, it's pretty much like I said, it's kind of a supernatural elements to it. Uh, revenge, stuff like that. Uh, like I said, Raymond Bird loves pay, uh, Barbara Payton, and of course he wants her to go away with him. Or she wants to go to England. He wants to, I mean, she wants to take him to England, right? But she can't leave Paul Maxey. Of course, he owns a plantation. And that's, of course, that's her husband. And then you got Woody Strobe. Strobe is some kind of a, like, police officer. And then you got Lon Chaney Jr., who's got so much dialogue in this movie, man. He's driving me nuts, man. He's got this scripted dialogue. And he's trying to, oh, actually, what happens is, let me kind of tell you a little bit more. Raymond Burr meets Paul Maxey out in the garden one night, right? There's this nasty old snake slithering up towards both of them. So you know, he knocks Paul Massey down to the ground. I think it's Paul Massey. Don't don't quote me on that. And of course the snake bites him and kills him, the venomous snake. And of course it's premeditated murder according to Long Cheney Jr. And so of course, you know, oh, it's 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 got a lot of revenge aspects to this movie. <laughs> It's not too bad though, but I'm still gonna rip it apart because this. So, of course, then the the old witch, who uh, well, actually there's this plantation girl who loves Raymond Burr, and of course he doesn't want nothing to do with him, with her. So basically, she goes crying to her grandma, or auntie, or something, and, and she makes up this concoction from this poisonous plant in the Amazon, which uh, controls your mind and changes you into a wild animal, some sort of gorilla, snake, you know baboon whatever you want to call yeah of course and then you know they're at a party one night and of course Raymond Burr drinks it and he starts to slowly hallucinate he looks at his hand his hand is like changing into a gorilla hand but he's just hallucinating at first you know it really happens towards as the movie keeps going along going along going along you know of course they're trying to pin them Lon Chaney Jr. is trying to pin the crime on Raymond Burr. He knows he did it, but he has not enough proof to bring him to court. <laughs> of course, <laughs> should we, we just watch some of the movie? I'm gonna fly, I'm gonna go back to the very beginning. You can listen to the credits, and then once the credits roll along, we'll show you some clips. Here we go, man. Yeah, explain that enough. <laughs> Lon Chaney Jr. Paul Massey, Barbara Payton, Raymond Burr, Woody Straub, a whole bunch of other well-known actors. 1951. How much time do we have to? 
Oh, we got lots of time. Oh, uh, we got this. I don't know where it was filmed. It looks like it was filmed in Amazon, but I'm pretty sure it was a back lot of some movie studio. It sounds like a, it sounds like a universal soundtrack to me, doesn't it? You know, Lon Chaney used to be the Wolfman. Remember that? <laughs> oh. oh my God! That's got to be that's got to be universal. I think that sounds distinctly like Universal Pictures, man. Okay, here we go. We're past the credits. Now we can watch the opening scene. The Puma. Is that loud enough for you? We got the lizards. We got the we got the spotted leopard. We got we got baboons up in the trees. <laughs> oh, we got the giant python ready to wrap around my neck and suffocate me. There's Lon Chaney Jr. narrating the movie. Plus, he has normal dialogue too. You can't see anymore. Terrell, please, Commissioner, give me a break. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll, I'll flip more. I'll, I'll flip it around if you miss and turn the volume back up. I promise. So, basically, the movie just kind of goes along, goes along, you know. Like I said about a zillion times, there's all kinds of goofy scenes. Lon Chaney's trying to pin the murder on Raymond Burr. And, of course, he has an airtight alibi, you know. His, uh, the old witch says uh, that uh, he didn't see uh, Raymond Burr kill Paul Massey in the garden. Yeah, she's just trying to help her little nephew, or not a nephew, your little, what do you call her, her granddaughter or something, who loves Raymond Burr. <laughs> oh, Raymond Burr just doesn't want nothing to do with her, man. He's in love with Barbara Payton, man. He wants her knockers. you got to see her knockers. They're, they're, they're really pointy, man. I'm, I'm scared of even looking at them. I think I'm going to get my eyeballs pop, popped on it out, man. She's going to poke my eyeballs out. This is her, by the way, dancing. There's uh, Raymond Burr with his shirt unbuttoned. <laughs> I think he's gonna... He's, he's like a beast, man. Yeah, he's like disgruntled, you know, because he thinks he's being overworked for low pay, you know. And of course, at the dinner later that night, uh, Paul Massey fires him right at the table. And, that, and then later on, like I told you, they go into the garden and he gets killed by the poisonous snake. Uh, Raymond Burr just lets it bite him. You know? <laughs> yes! It's great, man. And he sits on the ground and just quivers and dies of suffocation from the uh, the snake venom. Ooh. Oh, my God, it looked good. You know, my boobs are kind of really starting to pop out here. I'm pretty proud of them. Shreya, okay, let's... let's uh, oh, here we, here's another good scene. This is the come on by Raymond Burr, man. He wants her bad. It's more important. A woman wants to be loved. Deep philosophy. Hello, Hello, doctor. Nice to see you, Dina. Yeah, there's uh, there's the doctor. I can't think of his name. I don't know. Maybe that's Paul Massey. This is uh, Barbara Payton's husband. There was an accident body. Man got hurt. Yeah, he's the owner. Barbara's uh, his wife. This one died. Maybe. I don't know. I'm getting goofed up on names there. <laughs> oh, Raymond Burr just walks away. Fuck you, you son of a bitch. I can't be in two places at once. I just can't be in two places at once, man. Later on, I gotta, I gotta meet you in the garden. Let a poison the snake bite you and kill you. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is uh Oh, anyway, this is the doctor. Uh, he's trying. Uh, okay, this is the doctor. He's pretty cool. You don't understand. Does he totally understand me? He's only too happy being left alone. Bam! Look at, look at those pointers, man. There's some scenes in here. Her pointers are so vivid. I swear they're going to come through the screen and poke my damn eyes out. Holy shit, man. That's what I want. I want that. I wasn't there either, would you, Barney? Come again? I was just talking about marriage. 
1951. He probably didn't even know he was going to be Perry Mason another 10 years up the road, man. Raymond Burr. I know that. Do I'm not sure who that guy's name is. There's a really lot of well-known faces in this uh, movie. Who? She's the, like the blonde bomb, the blonde bombshell man. Whoa! He doesn't like Barney, man. He knows Barney's uh, hot for his wife, man. He wants her cookies. <laughs> okay, this is a great scene, man. I love this scene, but you're not gonna see it. We're gonna, we're gonna wait for him to insult Barney at the dinner table, man. So this is where he fires Barney. And of course, I told you five minutes later, ten minutes later, he meets him out in the garden and he lets the snake bite him and get kill him. So he ain't going nowhere, man. His wife now is the sole owner of the plantation. You know, since <laughs> and of course later on he drinks the stupid drink and everything, you know, and turns to turn into a fucking gorilla, man. <laughs> the fucking gorilla, I love that. This guy's kind of like a prick, the guy that owns the fucking plantation, reading out of the goddamn Bible or something. We got we got some cases of malaria, man. We got to take care of malaria. Malaria is in my bed right now. I demand that you conduct yourself accordingly. Whoa! You've not done so. You can pick up your pay and leave. It's all right with me. <laughs> <laughs> Fired his ass at the dinner You're table. I like that, man. Do you mind if I have my dinner first? I like Raymond Burr, man. He's like, a, you old fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> we're going to be seeing uh, Lon Chaney Jr. really quick here once the murder occurs. And then we're going to, we're going to, then the shit's going to hit the fan, man. <laughs> Because Lon Chaney Jr., his folk, I mean, his dialogue is so scripted. It drives me nuts, man. He's claiming he's from that part of the, the world. And he looks like he's, no, no, you're not, man. You're not Hispanic. <laughs> yeah, I think this movie takes place in the Amazon, which means I'm pretty sure it's like Hispanic people live in the Amazon in South America, right? Am I right? Okay, all right. Oh, he looks like he's from, like, New Jersey. Oh, my God. Okay, let's see what this in. This could be a long review, but I'm going to have fun with it. Okay, he's going out for some fresh air and a fresh bite of poison. This is where he shuns a little girl, and that's where she gets revenge on him by talking to her auntie about mixing up that drink where that Raymond Bird drinks and turns into a beastie. He turns into Kong. <laughs> Whoa! What a cold motherfucker. <laughs> oh, she's been, she's been spurned. Oh, okay, that's enough. You've seen enough, man. Oh, man. The movie sucks. Oh, anyway. So, the movie just kind of goes along. They're Lon Chaney Jr. is trying to pin the murder on Raymond Burr. And, of course, Raymond Burr is starting to turn into the beastie, you know. Just hairy goddamn gorilla. He looks like... He looks like Kong or Mighty Joe Young or something, man. He's just a fucking guy in a gorilla costume because he starts to go out into the woods later out of the woods the jungle and he can feel he can bond with nature he can feel everything in nature you know the he can hear for miles and miles and miles he's starting to uh, mentally and physically change into the beastie you know <laughs> it's fucking funny. i think it's kind of funny actually <clears throat> i should get some water what how much time are we up to in this goddamn movie 14 minutes we got we got to we're, we, we're only halfway, folks. <laughs> oh, let me look at my crib notes. Where in the fuck are my crib notes? Oh, so the movie just kind of goes along and along and along, like I said, about 150 times. And, of course, Lon Chaney Jr. is desperate to uh, file charges against Raymond Burr, but he can't prove it. Of course, Raymond Burr has already been cursed by the drink he drank. The, yeah, that makes sense. The drink he drank, right? <laughs> 
Oh my God. Okay, here's a here's a sob story of the girl that couldn't get Raymond Burr. She's talking to the old witch, her aunt. He doesn't love me anymore. I want you to stay with your people. Stay with your people. You know, she sounds like that lady from the the Wolfman movies. Remember the old gypsy Malava or Moluva or something? I don't think it's her. Oh, maybe it is. She looks different. Isn't this exciting? Okay, we'll go to the next frame. Waiting to kill you, you motherfucker. Oh, let's watch this scene. This is a good scene, man. I don't care to listen to anything you have to say. You chose your time to talk, Van Gelder, in the presence of your wife, your doctor, and your servants. But I have to you say embarrassed the fuck out of me. Now I'm going to fucking have you murdered by the snake. Right. You son of a bitch. Go on. I've done a lot of good work for you. Anything else? You read from the Bible. <laughs> I'll show you when he knocks the guy to the ground and gets bit by the snake. It's coming in just about two minutes. Oh my god. See, Raymond Burr can see that snake slithering on the ground right by them. So then I told you about that already. He knocks the old man to the ground and basically the snake just bites the shit out of him, man. All right, show you some. Way. Stand in my way, man. I want your wife knockers. Did she ask you to tell me that? We love each other. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> oh, oh, good right hand, man. This is he. Oh, he sees a snake coming. There's a snake. It's coming, man. He knows what he's gonna do. <laughs> oh, no. See, he knocks him right by the snake, so the snake naturally bites the guy. <laughs> Oh my god! Don't bite me! Don't bite me! Don't bite me! Don't bite me! Ah! He bit me! Motherfucker! Son of a... Oh, you motherfucker! You son of a bitch, man! Fucking snake fucking bit me, man! That motherfucking Raymond Burr is an asshole, man! <laughs> he killed me by a snake! By a snake! Can you believe it, man? He let a fucking slithering serpent bite the fuck out of me, man! <laughs> Let's go to another frame. I don't know how many frames are in this movie, actually. Okay, we're to another frame, and I don't know. Oh, okay. God, there's a lot of dialogue between Barbara Payton and Raymond Burr, man. The world's a lot bigger than this jungle. Look at them. I can see true love in their eyes for each other, folks. They want each other's nookie. <laughs> Okay, she finds the dead uh, old man, the plantation owner, the witch, mixes up a drink <laughs> later on for Raymond Burr. Oh, it's funny, man. She's creepy, man. I wouldn't want her living around my neighborhood, man. I, she's fucking like she's the, she's like a she's like a, a like a witch or something, man. <laughs> Listen to that shit. I don't think it's that lady from the Wolfman movies. Kind of sounds similar to her a little bit. Oh, anyway, she's, uh, you know, starting to curse Lon uh, or Raymond Burr right now. And then the drink comes later on at a party. And then as the movie just goes along... You know, he's getting more cracky and weirdo, and he's, you know, more cracky and weirdo. He's flipping out, you know. He thinks the jungle is calling to him, you know. He's got to be part of the... Uh, the, the... <laughs> okay, here's, here's Lon Chaney Jr., man. I like... Listen to this guy yak, man. Why don't you ask me if I killed Klaus Van Gelder? You know, I had a quarrel with him. You got witnesses for that, haven't you? I have, that's true. But the evidence I have is not strong enough to bring charges against you. What is your opinion, Dr. Viet? Van <laughs> Gelder died from shock and suffocation caused by snake death. Oh, yeah. He was a sick man. It he got bit by uh, a black mamba. And the snake attacked him. Any 
Anyway, that's my official report. And your private opinion? My private opinion... He was fucking murdered by Raymond Burr, you son of a bitch. Of no I can't prove it, though. It might have been that during the struggle... Anyway, so, yeah, like I said, the movie is, it's not a bad movie. It's got a lot of dopey dialogue. It's meant to be, be it's meant to be serious, really. Uh, you know, Raymond Burr kind of looks like a goddamn uh, gorilla anyway. <laughs> so, you know, he, he tries to, I think it's the old universal transformation uh, process where he just slowly looks in a mirror and a, a, a reflection in the water or something, and he starts to slowly change like Lon Chaney did back in those Wolfman movies in the 40s and stuff like that. <laughs> oh my God, here we go. What's this fucking scene? Now listen, Taro, don't accuse me of using magic. I don't. But, but that goddamn old witch did! Come over here, right now. Over here, right now. I want you to answer me truthfully. What do you know about Mr. Van Gelder's death? <laughs> she's, she's a conniving old witch, man. He was bit by the snake. By he the was. serpent. How do you know? I saw I the serpent saw bite him. You did? You did? Then did you also see Mr. Chavez? Fuck this shit. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my God! How much time are we up to in this review? Twenty-one minutes. We can knock and we can do another ten minutes, but that's about as good as I'm gonna do. So, uh, you know, the movie doesn't have a happy ending for Raymond Burr, of course. Barbara Payton uh, basically stays on the plantation as a new owner, and uh, Lon Chaney Jr. can't. He finally five figures out that. Raymond Burr is the killer, you know, because he believes in all the superstitions and everything. He's the police commissioner, so he basically knows everything about the jungle, the law of the land, right? Right? I don't know. I don't know. Does he? <laughs> Let's go to another frame. Let's see if there's another frame here. All right, another another frame. Here we go. She confesses to having the plant. Apparently, having this plant is very illegal in that part of the uh, that particular country, like uh, Universal uh, uh, Studios back back lot. <laughs> it's against the law. Woody Strobe. The evil spirit. The evil spiritual. We, we, we must destroy it. It's, don't you come. <laughs> Don't you come near me and my fucking family, you old goddamn witch! You're fucking. You're evil! I bring such a plant to your house tonight. No, I don't want it. No, really. Keep that fucking evil plant. I don't want it, man. No, I won't. But you keep away from my house. I don't want witches near my children. <laughs> you just insulted the living shit out of her. I don't want no fucking witches by my fucking family, my wife, or my kids. You 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 shrill up old you shrill up old witch man. Keep your plan. Stay away from my goddamn neighborhood, man. I live five doors down the road. <laughs> How much time we have to? Oh man, it's got a lot of dopey dialogue. I don't know how I'd rate this movie. It's not a bad movie. It's kind of silly. I think Raymond Burr has already been affected by the drink. He's starting to go wacky and everything right now. Let's, let's check out what he's got to say in this clip. You know that. Oh, oh not yet. She's mixing up the evil concoction for Raymond, man. <laughs> he shall be an animal. He shall be a fucking baboon. 24 minutes ain't bad. This is the party where Raymond uh, Burr drinks the evil drink. 
Oh my god. I've been married 26 years. I think my marriage is Hey! My wife does the rest, and believe me, we both have to work at it. It's fucking re. Oh, we missed fucking uh, Orson Welles. Or Alfred Hitchcock there or something, man. Oh, uh, bragging about all the places where she's been. The special drink. Make sure, make sure. Uh, what's his fucking name again? Here. Oh, look. It's this fucking Colonel Sanders. Fucking Colonel Sanders, man. There, uh, too late. He's already drunk the drunk, man. He's drunk the drink. Who is this goddamn, goddamn? He looks like. I don't know what. Oh, see now he's he's already. It's too late. It's it, he's been poisoned. He's been poisoned. You can tell. How dare you spurn my 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 family member and. <laughs> this, is, this is fucking stupid. Anyway. Oh my god. I don't know. It's it's not a bad movie. Like I said before, it's not a bad movie. It's got a decent story. Cast is okay. You know, the soundtrack is kind of typical Universal, I think. Don't quote me on that, but it sounds like Universal to me. What the fuck's going on with my... my... <laughs> oh, anyway, I don't know. We're going to give this a decent rating, but not a great rating. You know, it's... I don't know. Like I said, it has a very tragic end for Raymond Burr because he ends up trying to, you know, be part of the jungle at the end. Of course, Barbara Payton goes looking for him, and he's uh, he wants to take her up to his uh, his man cave, you know, and have his way with her, you know. And, you know, <laughs> but he's, you know... He can't because he's a goddamn gorilla now, and you know she doesn't want to be with a fucking gorilla, right? Would you want to be with a fucking gorilla if you were a human being or a woman or a man or something? Hell no. <laughs> okay. Oh, the transformation. Oh, you we missed it. That's too bad, man. His hand was starting to turn into the 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 like the a uh, monkey's hand. He's hiding his hand. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, man? Did you see my hand turn, man? My hand was turning into a goddamn gorilla hand, man. Holy shit. Oh, man. What a terrible movie. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I, I watched the whole thing from start to finish. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that's on the back lot of a Hollywood movie studio, you know, and, you know, the soundtrack is typical, uh, whatever it is. <laughs> you know, the acting is okay. I mean, uh, I don't believe for one minute that they're actually in South America, but, you know, because uh, it's got a lot of dopey, uh, you know, used up food footage from previous movies and stuff like that. You know, the background shots and everything back there and everything, you know, the jungle and everything. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Raymond Burr, he's flipping out, man. My goddamn hand and my goddamn hand. I'm sure you don't want to see him? No. Now leave me alone, will you? All right. Leave me alone. I gotta go find a stock of bananas, man. What the fuck, goddamn old doctor man? I need my fucking bananas, man. I got I got a craving for like fifty bananas. <laughs> oh, look at Barbara Payton. He's stalking like a wild beast. He's already knows he's changing. Wow. Look at those goddamn pointers. Holy shit, man. Something's bothering you. You're so imaginary. <laughs> oh. oh, why should I be? Okay, we'll show you a couple more clips in a few minutes. I'm just going to do short, fast, forward, so we're not going to do frames. So, anyway, uh, like I said, we're going to rate this probably. How much time are we up to at first? 28 minutes. Uh, it's probably going to be a couple more minutes, so. Let's see what's going on. Let me, let me kind of fast forward to the other frame without doing this. 
we'll get to some more goofy scenes here. Okay. Not sure. Not sure what this frame is, but I'm not sure what this particular... A lonely gorilla in the middle of the jungle. So sad. See, you can tell he's starting to become part of the jungle. He's all, all dark looking and his eyes are bulging. His Look at him, see? <laughs> look at him, look at him, man. He got some kind of darkish makeup on him, man. Whoa, man, he's having some uh, heavy duty hallucinations here, man. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, God. He's passed out on the ground. Or maybe he's, he's already a gorilla. He might could be. See, there's his reflection in the water. He's snorting too. I don't know what the fuck he's snorting, but I can hear it clearly. Yeah, that's enough of this fucking movie, man. Anyway, like I said, it has a tragic ending, so. You know, he basically gets shot and killed by Lon Chaney Jr. and the doctor in the jungle towards the very end there. We're getting really close to that frame. You don't want to see that. And, of course, he crashes to the ground and he dies and Barbara Payton is safe. And she gets to marry uh, uh, the doctor who's in love with her. The <laughs> It's like a it's like a love triangle going on here between the uh, the plantation owner, you know, uh, the doctor that's treating her and her dead husband and Lon and Raymond Burr and you know stuff like that and uh, oh my god, what's going on here, man? This isn't speed, of course not. Face, face in the water. Face. He's really cracking up now, man. Give me my anti-baboon vaccine. I want an anti-orangutan vaccine. <laughs> okay, that's enough of this movie. I think we've seen enough of this movie. I think so. So let's rate this movie. Actually, like I said, I'm going to go over it real quick again. It's 1951. It's not a bad movie. I already told you who's in the movie. There's a bunch of notable actors, familiar faces, besides Raymond Burr, Paul Massey, Woody Strobe, Barbara Payton, Lon Chaney Jr. And uh, not for one minute do I believe Lon Chaney Jr. actually grew up in that goddamn Amazon South American country, weren't it? No fucking way, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, oh, whatever. Anyway, uh, you know, the soundtrack is kind of like jungly, you know, lots of animal noises and stuff. And it's mainly, it seems to be mainly filmed in the dark, in maybe the late afternoon, early evening when it's starting to get dark. So it's kind of like a dark toned looking movie, you know, stuff like that. It's not bad. I mean, like I said, for the time, basically, it's pretty decent, you know. Uh, I don't know. I don't. Know. I don't know else, I'm not even sure what else to talk about with this movie, man. It's, it's not bad. I, I'm kind of like just kind of like out of it tonight. I feel my boobies growing, and you know I'm changing into like a, like a, like a, like a, like a beast <laughs> myself. Yeah. Oh my God! What's up? Okay, what's up? We're up to. Uh, we gotta shut this uh, review off. We're gonna, we're gonna rate it right now. I know I didn't give you a very good explanation on the movie, but you kind of get the idea of what I talked about at the beginning all through the movie. He has a pretty basic plot, pretty simple plot. Revenge, you know, spurned love, stuff like that, you know. So we're going to give this movie, 1951, we're going to give this movie probably, uh, I'm going to be fair, I'm going to give it a 6 out of uh, 10 spider webs. 6 spider webs out of 10 spider webs. You know, it's not a bad movie, it's not as you know, 
I've I've reviewed worse movies. <laughs> you all you all know that. You know the last movie I did was pretty decent too. So, but I had to kind of like, oh my god, I had to kind of rip this part this movie apart a little bit. I just had to. One final scene for you. One final scene for you. Leave it on the super run. <laughs> it's happened before. It has. I closed the van. That's Lawrence Talbot, the by the way. You know, from the Wolfman movies, Lawrence yeah. Talbot. <laughs> okay, we're gonna end this. Like I said, we're gonna give the six spider webs out of ten spider webs. That's my review this week. It comes from this collection again. I hope you like my review. Check out the movie on YouTube. Trailers, full movies, it's probably free. Don't forget to comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you possibly can press a button. <laughs> Stuff like that. And uh, uh, can I get 10 views, please? Just 10 views. Okay, until next time, we shall see you again. Maybe another movie off this collection. I'm not really too sure yet. Until next time, I will see you in the jungle.